This playthrough is rated E for everyone. If this is the weirdest thing to happen this year, I would have gladly accepted it. Greetings and salutations, viewers. Volumai here with another game from my library, and it's, uh, well, it's that time of the year. The year is over, the year of 2022. What best way to play it than a fireworks show? Why not? Uh, this was made in 2000 by Japan's company, I think, or Japan Studio, and published by Sony Computer Entertainment System for the PS2. I think it came out for some other uh, consoles as well. I think like the Wii and some other variations of it. But basically, yeah, this is just a puzzle game based on fireworks. That's all it is. So I could go over the tutorial and there's a there's a guy talking during the whole tutorial, but I don't think you care about that. Besides this whole game, it's not like I'm doing a full playthrough of this game. It's more I'm just talking about the year and what's been going on and everything like that. So let's just kind of start and, and let's just do beginner mode so I can kind of do this. I can talk about the game while we do it, but really this is here just for me to talk about Welcome the year 2022. Sa uh, stage one, Night of South Island. So, Alright, so basically what we do to control this is we move this, uh, use the left analog stick, move it over different colored lights, and we create chains and create fireworks. So, it, it, pretty easy. So, it gets a bit more complicated after that, but for the most part. So, 2022, and I'm trying to remember, it's been a while since I've started the beginning of it. Um, I think I was still recording uh, um, Ark the Lad in Siberia, and I had just gotten... And I think I was almost... Oops, didn't mean to start that one. Yeah. Now, nah, well, that'll work. No. There you go. Yeah, sorry. Now I'm actually getting involved in the game, and now I'm like trying to trying to actually do it. If you lose uh, all your um, the score at the bottom right there, um, let's see the uh, event ends. So I have to be kind of careful, at least on that. But yeah, I was playing Arthur the Lad in Siberia, and I think I. Uh, Finished those this year, which was a big, a big accomplishment. I uh, got into, um, I got into Shadowrun again, as you saw. I did quite a few playthroughs of that. I did the Super Nintendo version. I did uh, Shadowrun's Returns. I just finished. By the time I was recording, I finished uh, Shadow uh, Shadowrun uh, Dragonfall. Hopefully next year I'll do uh, Hong Kong if uh, things work out. If I don't get distracted or something like that, but we'll see what happens. Um, I also did. Uh, Secret of Monkey Island 2, I've been wanting to play that one again after all these years. And that was a long time coming. I finally did Sam and Max, which was awesome. I love that game. I'm glad I was able to play that again um, after all these years. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that, but oh well. Uh, what else? Um, oh yeah, I finally did uh, Baldur's Gate 2. Um, I was wanting to do that again as well. I know this year there's quite a few games I did want to play, like uh, Mass Effect 2 and stuff like that. Kind of continued the games for last year, but it kind of uh, um, kind of got away from me. And at the time, I wanted to play something a bit different, so I, something that would be a bit easier to record. Not that Mass Effect 2 is hard to record. I just wanted to be a bit more prepared for it than I was. Whoops. I keep resetting the uh, firework chains. Whoops. <laughs> well, I'm probably going to miss finish this one off then, huh? I keep pressing the circle button to reset the uh, the fireworks, so oh. I think I've... Ah, I messed up. Oh well, it's because I'm trying... 
It's because I'm trying to. Again. It's because I'm trying to talk and do this at the same time. It is a puzzle game, so you, you know, you can get a bit uh, distracted or whatever. Um, I'm trying to think what else I played this year. Um, I played quite a few things. I finally stopped doing the GameFly stuff after all these years. I used to do GameFly rentals all the time. And that's where I got a lot of my games from, but I stopped doing that this Welcome time this year. Uh, it saved me a bit of money, and I was at that point mo most people weren't watching my GameFly games anyway, so I was like, you know, it's be it's time to finally drop this series and just start playing games from my library or games that I just want to play instead of just random games I got off the internet or whatever. So, so yeah, most of my games in the future are now going to be a bit more focused than than what they are now. Uh, and I'll try to do more series that people are more interested in. Like I've had a lot of people request a front mission, so I'll try to I'll try to get those ready to go. Actually, I don't know. Well, I have that. Yeah, we'll see what happens. I was considering it this year, but I, I'm, I'm trying to decide if that's how I want to go or not. Four chain. Um. Three chain. Actually, by the time of this recording, I may have I may have made a decision. Some some games I do play a bit out of order. Um, Three chain. Star. Just to, uh, like, some, because I find some recordings a bit easier than others, so I'll just, I'll just choose to do them instead. I'll be like, I'll do this one for now, and then I'll come back. And then do the other ones at, like, a later day of the week or something like that, so. Man, I really, actually doing a puzzle game like this actually does kind of take a bit of my concentration, huh? Oops, lost that, uh, green one already. Um... But yeah, I definitely do want to do, uh, especially uh, with. Uh, oops, dang it! There we go. I'm trying to get all these before I run out of points. Yeah, I keep uh, accidentally like setting off one or pressing the circle button, which sets up stuff in it. If you don't have a, a combo set, then it resets the whole thing. So. Six chain. I'm trying to think what else I uh <laughs> excuse me. Three chain. Yeah, like I'm getting too I'm getting too actually warped into this, like now I'm not paying attention to what I'm talking about. Maybe I should have chosen a less uh less complicated game to play or something like that. At least not a puzzle game that requires a bit more of my attention, you know. Six chain. Especially having this creepy guy tell me what to do. Don't tell me what to do. You're not my dad. I mean, maybe he is my dad. I don't know. No, I know who my dad is. So. Uh, God, sorry. I'm not even paying attention now because I'm trying to do these puzzles. Which, overall, like, it's not that big of a deal. I don't have to do this. I'm just now. Now I'm invested. I just want to play this just for a bit of silly entertainment, but you know. But now it's like, no, I must, I must record, I must, uh, must actually complete this thing. Otherwise, I will lose. My life depends on it. Yeah, I'm trying to remember what else I recorded this year. Obviously, I finished quite a few games this year. Not as many as I would have liked, but that's just kind of how it is, you know. You always feel like you could have finished a series a lot faster than before, but... Um, oh, yeah, I finished uh, Dark Cloud 2, and uh, from... At least, yeah, I think Dark... Did I do... Oh, no, I did Dark Cloud 1 that year, this year, too. Man, I did quite a few of those uh, level 5 games. I definitely want to... I don't know if I'll do that next year or whatever, but I definitely want to... Uh, I definitely want to do the other level 5 games in the series. Although most people... The one most people are probably interested in would probably be uh, um, Dragon Quest 8. Or 7, I mean. Man, that is a... That is a classic game, but I don't know if I'm ready to do any Dragon Quest games. Those games are long and take basically most of the year for me to do if I do them by my usual time. Oh man, I'm almost out of a. Almost out of points. So. Oh, there's the big one. How do we do it? Star Mine. Now we're going crazy over here. Yeah, now this is the part where it gets like insane, like where you're 
just just trying to hit as many as you can, get all these points and everything. And get all these crazy chains. Look at that. Look at all the chains there. I can do crazy chains. Nah, I didn't do as well as I thought it would. I got 95%. Could have done better though. No, we finished the level. Yay! Uh, I think I'll try to not really mess too much with the later levels. But, yeah, I'm really trying to recall. Like, I know I've done a lot this year. I guess I don't have to talk everything about games. But, yeah, I stopped doing Gamefly stuff. Um, I've been kind of changing up, like, what I try to record. I try not to do multiple strategy games back-to-back -back and uh, RPGs. That way I'm not stressing myself over trying to do something that's super complicated for recording purposes, you know, basically knowing how the enemies work, what I need to do to uh, beat the enemies more efficiently. That's why I try not to do like four or five of them. Although recording Chroma Squad is kind of easy because it actually doesn't require much strategy of me because the game is not actually that difficult, even on the hero mode. Um, but I can't do like front mission and like Final Fantasy Tactics and like this back to back, for example, because I'm like, no, I don't want to. That's why I try to do like maybe like a uh, like random games like visual novel maybe somewhere in between when i did hotel dusk maybe a strategy game with like brigadine you know and then i'd do like a rpg like shadow hearts or something like that which that was a fun game to play again i i, I hopefully next year i'll have a shadow hearts 2 ready to go i still need to finish shadow hearts the uh the uh, uh doing the other video i need to do for that same with resident evil uh, 5 i need to finish that off but not for recording purposes i need to I, I was trying to trophy hunt it I usually don't do that, but I was so close to trophy hunting that one, I was actually wanting to do that. That was a fun game to play after all these years. I, I know I crapped on it quite a bit, but... Um, oh, wait, I don't actually need to save. I am not. I don't actually care. Um, well, I guess if I, I don't have to talk so much about video games, just the year in general, like, uh, you know, pretty bad year for the world in general, you know. Um, I try to keep that stuff away from my videos, but sometimes it pops up time to time because sometimes... We, we are influenced by those around us or things that happen so it's hard for you to uh like not bring that stuff up you know wars around the world diseases stuff like that people ha hating on each other i try to keep that stuff out because like i said this is a gaming channel not 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 uh yeah not local stuff not not you know people want to get away from that uh, when they watch someone play video games, they don't want, they don't want me over. to talk about, oh wow, I did really bad on that one. And Thank you for let's just say the world's gone through some again. crap all the time. We've, wars have started, people have died from disease, we've lost a lot of comedians and actors and stuff like that. Big ones for me were like, um, Gilbert Gottfried passed away, which was really uh, sad to hear. Um, uh, Kevin Conroy, the voice of Batman, passed away. Uh, Bob Saget passed away, if I recall correctly. Um, Gallagher passed away, although people don't really remember him as much, but he did pass away. Um, I mean, I know people die every day, but it's one of those things when you have people that are, I wouldn't say influential, but people that are you grew up with or were aware of, and then they're gone, you're like, oh, man. Just the world turning, turning, turning. There's not much you can do about that. And all we can do is play more more Fantavision as we do that. Welcome um, to overall, my the year for me personally hasn't really been affected too much. I've kind of been doing it as I do. Um, I've been working on cleaning a house I I recently acquired because one of my family members passed away. So I've been I've been working on that in between recording episodes. Um, it's a long it's a long process. I'm not really a big fan of, but uh, and I've been losing. Uh, um, motivation doing it because just of how much work has gone into it but I get back to it and every once in a while I'll have a day where I get I get uh, pretty lucky on um, on getting some work done but it's how it is the only really big major factor I fixed was like I actually have a living quarters in the house now that I can actually stay in without having to like drive and waste gas every you know every day going out there now I can actually just stay out there if I want to instead of Having to drive back to my other house to, uh, um, you know, stay. Because it, like I said, I don't like wasting gas and all this other stuff. So, yeah, I'm not really taking advantage of a lot of the combos and everything that you can do in this game. Because I'm not really trying to 100% this or anything like that. But, but, yeah, that's the big thing. Let's see. Oh, I. 
Wait, yeah, I have a new, I had a new family member, a nephew was born. Um, he's a great kid. Um, causes a bit of trouble, but his, uh, my brother and his uh, wife do a pretty good job taking care of him. They also have another kid, my niece. They're doing, she's doing pretty well. She's, uh, you know, she's very, apparently she's really popular at school, which is really nice. She's not that old, obviously, but apparently the kids really like her, which is nice. Good to know that my, we're, we are popular people in my family. Um, Bonus points. Let's Bonus see. Points. I'm trying to think of anything else really big. I mean, our family doesn't do a whole lot, to tell you the truth. We try, we kind of keep to ourselves in the grand scheme of things. Um, we're not like most people that go on crazy vacations and stuff like that. Well, actually, my family did. I didn't. Um, I think they went to... Was it this year that they went to? No, that was last year when they went to Hawaii. Yeah. I was trying to remember. I didn't go on that one because I was working on uh, taking care of things at home and the house that I recently acquired from the dead relative. They just passed away when they went to to uh, Hawaii. So yeah, you can tell I'm just not paying attention anymore. Uh, I'm trying to really think what else to really talk about other than like what I've done. This wasn't really supposed to be a, a scripted video. It was just supposed to be me just kind of rambling and talking about stuff, you know. I'm not even taking advantage of those uh, fireworks. Yeah, sometimes the fireworks will explode and drop little fireworks so you can get a... Um, they can explode and maybe hit other fireworks if they're similar to each other. But, oh well. At least I'm not really trying at this point. I keep pressing the circle button to reset chains before I've gotten to it. Ah, yeah, I... I keep, I gotta stop doing that. Then again, I'm not Five trying to chain. expert this or anything like that. But, yeah. Overall, I mean, other than just the crap happening around the world, overall, like, I've been doing okay. I mean, I've been trying to take care of myself a bit better, um, working out daily. I mean, I always tell people to do that because it, it is generally better for you to do it, and you, you do feel better if you work out. Nothing, I don't do anything too extraneous though, because um, I really don't have my own, uh, I don't have my own center to, uh, like, uh, not garage, like, uh, I don't have, like, a personal gym or anything like that, so anything I do is on my own time, and I'm not going to pay a ton of money for a gym, you know, a gym-like subscription. Most of that stuff you can do at home. Uh, yeah, we're out of points again, so... Man, it's it actually is kind of hard to play this, like uh, try to like focus on this while, while thinking about what I want to talk about, you know. Um, yeah, sorry if this is just there's not much to it. It's just like I said, just me rambling about the year and what I look forward to. Um, but yeah, I'm glad I got quite a few games done out of the way once I haven't played all the years. The one thing I like about doing this hobby is that I just it gives me a, a, an excuse to play old games again because sometimes you'll you'll look at an old game in your library and you'll kind of like, man, I want to play that, but then something will happen or something new will come out and you're like, man, I want to play that instead. So this gives me a good reason. Like I set a time, I record, I do all these videos back to back. Or at least I try to record like quite a few videos before I do other stuff, so that way I've, I've I don't have to you know, stress myself doing it every day. I spend like one or two days a week and just record like a ton of videos and just put them out for the week and then go do my normal stuff and then come back to it. But yeah, this hobby gives me a chance to play everything I want. And yeah, I know a lot of people don't watch it or, or respond to it and that's fine. Like I said, I do this for my own, own fun. If people do respond, great. If not, that's fine too. You know, I'm not your dad. I don't have to tell you what to do. You know, like I said, this is a hobby for me. It's not like I'm a, a streamer or anything like that that has to do, I don't know if I could do stuff like that, have, like having to stream like every day for hours and hours. I'm one of those guys that likes playing by myself. Yeah, take with that as what you will. But I like playing by myself, and I don't. And I prefer not people watching me because I find it uncomfortable for me. So at least doing this medium means I can just do it whatever I want to release it and then have people respond or not. So, um, but yeah, overall, I hope the. I think I, I don't think I'll play anymore because otherwise I, I'll, I'll get too distracted. But. Uh, I think I might just end the video here. There's not really much else to say. Just uh, hopefully for those of you, I hope 2022 was a good year for you. Like I said, it was fine for me. I know the world suffered a lot and people suffered a lot, but hopefully you yourself didn't, it didn't, wasn't too bad for you. Minimal losses or maybe something good happened to you one day or the other, you know. Um, like I said, overall, I think it was generally good for me. Like I said, had a new addition to the family. Got to play all these video games, record them for, the, for people to see and... and 
and the like stuff like that but um, hopefully 2023 will be a better year maybe better for like movies or entertainment because yeah this year was definitely not good for a lot of entertainment there's very i don't even think there was like a single movie i watched this year that i really liked and i didn't even watch that many movies this year because i was just so dis desensitized to most western media right now maybe i need to this is why I play mainly video games, because they're at least giving me the entertainment I want, at least old video games. There are some new video games that came out that were entertaining, but I haven't been able to play too much new stuff. Mainly, I'm just trying not to spend too much money, because I've got to I gotta put most of my money into my new living arrangement. So most, and it's a it's a money trap, really, because there's so many problems with the house. New carpets, uh, you know, furniture, cleaning things, mold got into it, all this other crazy stuff. So, you know. So I can't really be spending $60 every week on a new video game and try to record that. So, And really, there hasn't been a whole lot this year that I really... I mean, the only games I really bought straight out was like Elden Ring. And I'm still working on that. I need to beat that. Um, there's a few games I wanted to play, but like I said, I'll wait till those go on sale. But they're the one or two games I've bought I, I enjoy quite a bit. I've been doing a lot of uh, off-screen. I've been doing a lot of like Yakuza. I've been playing all those games. I've almost finished them. Actually, by the time it's recording, I'm halfway through Lost Judgment. Um, the only Yakuza games I haven't played in the series is like the Japanese one that they're working on, translating it, and the PSP ones, which those weren't translated. I know there's fan translations I need to look into, but those weren't officially translated. So I just wanted all the games that were officially translated into English. You know, Yakuza, Judgment, and stuff like that. Um, those are fun games. I wish I record. I could record them, but the thing is, Sega is very very stringent on like what you can and can't show on those and they usually copyright you if you do stuff like that it's insane i know people have recorded them before but it's usually streamers and they usually get all their entertainment for the initial stream not usually what afterwards because of how heavy sega is on that type of stuff so but uh yeah i don't know what else to really say i guess uh, i guess i'll kind of leave it there i like I said, once again, I hope you had a good 2022. Hope 2023 is good for all of you. Hope you have fun doing whatever you do. Uh, if you play any good games, hopefully you enjoy them. I'll try to have new games. There's quite a few games I do want to do this year, next year. Uh, like I said, I want to do Front Mission 1. Uh, Front Mission 2, I think, remake is supposed to come out maybe this year or next year. I want to get, get, hopefully get into that. Um, like I said, maybe do another level 5 game, do some more point-click adventure games. Uh... We'll kind of see what happens. Maybe I'll do more more uh, subscriber polls where I just ask people what they want me to play. Maybe they'll give me some good ideas because there's always something for me to play. But sometimes I'll get I'll get uh, choice locked, which means that I'll have like a billion games I want to try. But I'll I it, sometimes I'll have a I'll get stuck on like well, which one do I want to record now? You know, because and sometimes it, sometimes having a third party tell me what they want me to play makes it a little bit easier to go. Oh yeah, I'll just do that. You know, so. Well, anyway, I think I'm going to leave it off here. So let the uh, enjoy the fireworks where you can, and I'll see you all in 2023. Thanks for watching.